Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to go over the cybersecurity degree from WGU. So I have a uh, to-do list of all the WGU degrees, and this one was actually further back, but I've actually had so much requests for this degree, and I monitor my search traffic to my website, majormash.com, and the number one searched term going into that website is how to get a cybersecurity degree. That actually dominates my search traffic. So people type that into Google, how to get a cybersecurity degree, and that's the main traffic to my website. So I was like, you know what, I might as well cut this degree in front of the line and do a video on it now, even though it was scheduled for about two to three weeks from now. So I'm gonna do a video today on cybersecurity, and we're gonna go over the spreadsheet for study.com classes that will transfer over and other ACE credit websites. And we're gonna go over the certificates that can transfer in. So the very interesting thing about the cybersecurity degree is outside of three courses, you can actually transfer in, like everything is transferable, everything. You still have to complete at least 32 credits at WGU because you have to do at least 25% of the degree at WGU. So you'll have to choose which ones not to do outside of WGU. And I would save the easiest ones for uh, WGU. So we'll get into the spreadsheet. If you guys wanna work in cybersecurity, uh, you know, obviously this degree is really good for you. And I'll show you like which certificates are good. And, um, you know, we'll we'll go over like whatever transfers in and the benefits of doing a cybersecurity degree. And if you might want to do a different degree as well and still get into the cybersecurity field. So let's get into the spreadsheet right now, guys. Right, guys, we are in the cybersecurity spreadsheet for WGU. So, you know, we're going to go over the general education and the non-important courses here. So. There's not too many general education courses in this degree, actually. It's a very heavy degree on cybersecurity, computer science, uh, you know, coding, just a lot of tech classes. So the only, um, the only general education classes are actually right here. So you got communication um, 101, which you'll do at study.com, which is you know, a two-day course, American government study.com, two-day course, and you got biology and health. So these four classes are, you know, two day classes each at study.com. If you have a lot of time on your hands, you know, everybody goes at a different speed. So you definitely want to get these out of the way on an ACE credit platform. You don't want to take these at WGU. It's just taking from your valuable degree time when you can be using that time to try to knock out your degree in one term, which is entirely possible. So computer science courses, uh, you can take here at study.com as well, which I would highly recommend you do as well. So you got fundamentals of information technology, which will transfer in as introduction to IT. Database fundamentals transfers in as data management foundations. Introduction to networking transfers in as network and security foundations. Uh, you definitely want to take this one at study.com. This class is actually really hard at WGU, in my opinion. Uh, network and security foundations um it's actually one of the harder tech courses i took at wgu at least at least for a foundation class like out of all the foundation classes i think there's four of them this is definitely the hardest one so data management foundations is pretty easy uh and scripting and programming foundations is you know somewhat easier but this one is actually a pretty difficult course in my opinion so definitely take it on study.com uh, introduction to programming it's a good course on study.com it'll definitely teach you the basics of programming and then you got these ones which are more higher level courses on study.com and might take you more like five six seven days uh, database programming and database management data database management will have a project but it's it's not that hard uh, programming in python has a minor assignment too on study.com but it's you know it's doable so I actually took that class on study.com and I completed it. So it teaches you Python um, among, you know, uh, some really useful programming knowledge. So you definitely want to take all these courses on study.com. None of them are going to take you more than a week, probably, if you have the time. Uh, I've never taken these two courses. I think they require a big uh, assignment, but they're still worth taking on study.com uh, compared to WGU because these are. I'm assuming pretty difficult courses on WGU. So you wanna get those out of the way. So study.com, you can knock out a lot of, uh, a lot of valuable classes. Um, and then straighter line, if you guys have watched my previous videos, uh, you might just be new cybersecurity 
um, watchers and have not watched my previous videos, but I recommend doing Eng English on straighter line in case you want to transfer to a different school in the future because English will transfer into WGU from study.com, but a lot of schools don't accept study.com's English. Whereas if you take it at straighter line, if you want to go to a different school, most schools will accept straighter lines English. Um, business stats will transfer in as applied probability and statistics. But honestly, you can take that course on any of the three websites. Uh, I just would not recommend you do it at WGU. So I think straighter lines, the easier one. Um, and then Sophia is probably the second easiest one regarding that. Uh, so business statistics will cover that. And then college algebra covers applied algebra. And then these are the two courses I recommend doing on Sophia. You can do this critical thinking course on, uh, you can do this course on study.com, but it's a little easier on Sophia. You can ask, you can actually do this course at WGU too. Um, like I actually might, I would recommend maybe just saving this course for WGU to be honest with you. And that way you can take more of the harder courses outside of WGU because WGU, this is actually a really easy test and it's like a two day course. So you might want to just save this one. And then project management, I actually do recommend uh, doing at Sophia. Um, but like I said, if you don't want to spend a hundred bucks for one course, then, you know, just do it at WGU. And then we got these certificates, which is, you know, the biggest thing about the cybersecurity degree and the cybersecurity world in general. So as I said in previous videos, cybersecurity is the one field where experience and certif certifications matter more than a certain degree, right? Like they don't care about education that much compared to certifications. And that's kind of like, it's like the only field that's like that really. So they care about certifications a lot. You know, they want to see that you have some of these like CISSP is huge in the cybersecurity world. And you can't even get that till you have five years of experience. So basically CISSP, you will take uh, that exam and you'll get the title associate of ISC, but you can't get the CISSP until you get five years experience. So it's a little tricky regarding that. I'm sure somebody who works in cybersecurity and has that certification can explain it a little better than I can. Um, so these are the certifications that will transfer into the degree. And I will make a separate video at some point on all of these certifications, uh, the benefits of them, you know, what kind of jobs you can work with them, and also go over once again, you know, which ones transfer into WGU. So I'll have a whole separate video on certifications too, but we'll go over briefly right now. So Linux foundations, pretty simple course on WGU I've heard, but you can take either of these to satisfy this course, CompTIA Linux Plus or LPI Linux Essentials. And if you actually go on WGU's, WGU's website, there's actually a couple more that can satisfy. I just picked, you know, the two easiest ones. Uh, this one will just transfer introduction to cryptography um, and pen test on here. So pen test plus, if you take that, it actually satisfies two courses at WGU. And it satisfies penetration testing and it satisfies network and security applications. So if you actually get that certification, you're knocking out two classes, which is eight credits. And I label that right here. Um, pen tests will satisfy both penetration testing and network and security applications. Uh, another one that does that is CompTIA A+, which satisfies IT foundations and IT applications, which I highly recommend you do. I highly recommend you go get your CompTIA A+, and get rid of those two courses. So CompTIA A+, you know, might take you a little bit of studying, but I've heard these courses are kind of difficult on WGU. And if a certification knocks out two courses, I recommend doing it if it's not too expensive and not too hard. So recommend doing that. Uh, so networks I've heard is a really hard course on WGU. So, you know, you might want to get one of these certifications as well. If you actually do your CCNA, that actually knocks out two courses at WGU as well, networks and network and security applications. Um, but if you don't want to do that, right, let's say you do your pen test and that satisfies this, you can knock networks out with network plus or Cisco CCENT. So that'll get rid of networks. And I would highly recommend getting rid of this course before you go to WGU. 
And then we have a lot of courses that are satisfied by passing the CISSP exam. So you won't actually get your CISSP certification until you have five years of experience, but you will uh, be able to transfer in all these courses if you pass the exam. Um, and you can take the exam before you have experience. So by getting that exam passed, you actually can knock out five WGU courses. Um, maybe more, I would have to verify, but at least five. Uh, managing cloud security, managing information security, information system security, legal issues and in information security. And then there's one up here uh, that satisfies a study.com course, which I believe is fundamentals of information security. So, I mean, I would do that one on study.com regardless, but um, your CI SSP exam pass would satisfy five courses, which is a lot of credits. So, and you're going to need that degree. I mean, sorry, you're going to need that certification in the cybersecurity world in all likelihood at, at some point in your career. So it's a very valuable certification. Everyone in the cybersecurity world seems to tell me that, like, that's a very valuable certification. You know, that's the one that's holds the most value for the most part. But so you, you eventually do want to get that certification. And if you can get it before you go to WGU and knock out five courses, that's amazing. So, but once again, if you don't want to do that, you can take these at WGU, no problem. So you must complete 32 credits at WGU. So you'll not have a, so you'll have to choose not to do some of the certifications, you know, cause you have to save some of those credits for WGU. Like I said, you might want to save this uh, critical thinking class actually for WGU cause it's really easy. So I already explained all of these basically. And then these three courses you definitely have to do at WGU no matter what, which is introduction to systems thinking, uh, emerging technologies and cybersecurity. I don't think either of those classes are that hard. And then of course your IT capstone written project, which is gonna involve a lot of writing and probably be, I would imagine at least a couple weeks of your time. So, you know, there you go. You have to do at least these 11 credits and save another 21 credits for the degree by not doing some of these. So I would definitely do this section for sure because ACE credit courses are pretty simple and you know not that hard. So definitely do outside of critical thinking, maybe save that for WGU, but do all of these courses outside of WGU and then pick which ones of these you wanna do and then save some for WGU. You know, to save you some time, you might want to do the ones that actually satisfy two courses. You know, do your CompTIA A plus satisfies two courses, right? That's work smarter, not harder, guys. And then it'd be the same thing with either your CCNA, um, which would satisfy both of these, or you can do your pen test plus, which would satisfy this and this. So don't do both CCNA and uh, pen test plus because one of the courses overlap. So just choose one or the other. Um, so I would definitely do CompTIA A plus and then one of those certifications I just mentioned. Um, and if you know any of these interest you, do those as well. So I I wish you guys the best of luck. You know if you want to work in cybersecurity, um, would I recommend doing this degree? I think it's a very good degree. I absolutely think this degree is very interesting. It has a lot of intrigue to it. Uh, would I recommend doing this degree? I would recommend doing the computer science or software engineering degree. Why would I recommend that? Uh, I feel if you get these cybersecurity certifications and you have a computer science degree or even a software engineering degree, I feel like it makes you a little more marketable, um, you know, with having that coding knowledge and, you know, just having that skill set. because those certifications are gonna give you the skill set of this degree. And the cybersecurity world looks more for those certifications than education. So I actually think you would be more marketable with a computer science or a software engineering degree. But at the same time, this is still a terrific degree. You know, if you're already enrolled in this program, don't think too much about what I'm saying. Um, this is a really good degree. Uh, it's definitely going to make you very job marketable. You know, you'll definitely break into the cybersecurity world at some point, just realize the cybersecurity world more than other tech industries is very high on experience and networking. So network, network, network. 
Okay. That goes for any job, any job in the world. You got to network. So, you know, go on LinkedIn, message some people, heck, find some people from WGU with the same degree and just network, you know, pick their brain, how they got a job, you know, see what jobs accepted them with this degree and their certifications, right? Everything is networking. Everyone's always trying to help everyone, you know? Um, like if someone asks me a question on YouTube or somewhere else or LinkedIn or whatever, like I always try to reply if I have time and actually give them information that will help them. Like, here's what I did, you know? Like I want everybody to succeed. And a lot of people are the same, right? If someone messages them like, hey, I have the same degree you did, the same certifications, I see you got this job, you know, any advice for me to get this job as well, right? So it's life's all about networking, you know, just be kind, you know, uh, be approachable, um, be mature. So once again, guys, this is a great degree. Cybersecurity is a field that is growing and growing and growing. And if you want to be part of it, if it interests you, um, then sign up for this degree plan and, you know, try to knock it out, you know, use this spreadsheet, you get a 30% off up here and, uh, you can knock out all these courses. So once again, guys, if you're interested in cybersecurity, go ahead and look at this degree plan, sign up for it if you want, or look at the other tech plans and just decide whichever works for you. But anyways, guys, this is the video for today. I will have a video in the future about cybersecurity cert certifications. I will have a lot of other WGU videos in the future coming out as well. So I'm doing a video for almost every single degree. So if you guys want to work in cybersecurity, then check out this spreadsheet and check out this degree plan. Hope you guys have a great night.